Welcome. Today we're going to talk about volume of prisms and cylinders. The volume of a three-dimensional figure is the number of cubes it can hold. Each cube represents a unit of measure called a cubic unit. The volume of a prism. The volume, abbreviated V, of a prism is the product of the area of the base, abbreviated B, and the height, H. Once again, the volume of a prism is the product of the area of the base times the height. So the bases can be differently shaped. This one looks like it's rectangular, but you could have a triangular base, a trapezoid, a parallelogram, any of the shapes we've studied already for area we could um, need to use that area formula to find the area of the base. And then we multiply that area times the height of the figure. Okay, so volume equals big B, the area of the base, times H, the height of the prism. Let's do a couple examples. Here's a triangular prism. So we're going to find the volume of this triangular prism. I'd like you to try and draw the triangular prism and label its parts. And as you do so, I want you to realize what is the height of the prism as opposed to what is the height of the triangle. So the height of the prism is 9 feet. The height of the triangle is 6 feet. Let's start with the volume formula. Volume equals big B times H. Big B the area of the base times h, here the, the height of the prism. The prism, by the way, appears to be lying on its side. I would say the height is 9. So, first of all, what shape is the base? If we focus on the base, you'll notice it's a triangle. So, carrying on, that means that big B is going to be the triangle formula of area. Big B is going to equal 1 half times base times height, and now you need to notice the difference between big B and little b. Big B is the area of that base. Little b here is the base of that triangle. What's the base of the triangle? 8. What's the height of the triangle? 6. So it's going to be 1 half times 8 times 6. Half of 8 is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. So the area of the base is 24. And we're going to plug that into our volume formula so that the volume it's going to equal 24 times the height of the prism, which is 9. So we calculate 216 is the volume of this triangular prism. And that would be cubic what? Cubic feet. So why don't you try this one on your own? Find the volume of this rectangular prism. Hit the space bar to pause the video and then check back with me after you've done it. Okay, and we'll start with the formula. Good luck. All right, good job. I'm sure you figured it out that this is a rectangular prism. So what shape is the base? The base is a rectangle. So the area of the base will equal base times height. And here we're talking about the base and height of the rectangle. So we've got five times 4, or 4 times 5. Either way, it's going to equal 20. That would be 20 square centimeters for the area of that base. Now to find the volume, we're going to plug that 20 in for the big B. And now when we say times H, we mean the height of the prism, which is 11. So we're going to have 20 times 11, 220 centimeters cubed. Next topic is volume of a cylinder. The volume of a cylinder is the same formula as the volume of a prism because it's basically a round prism. So the volume V of a cylinder is the area of the base B times the height H. So we need to remember the formula for the area of a circle then. So find the volume of the cylinder. Volume equals big B times H. Big B will equal, well, it's a circle. Big B, therefore, will equal pi r squared. In this instance, the radius is 6, so we're going to have 
pi times 6 squared. 6 squared is 36. And 36 times 3.14 equals 113.04. That's the area of the circle. Now we need to multiply that by the height of the cylinder. So we're going to plug back into our formula. Volume equals 113 times 11. Therefore, it's 1,243 what? meters cubed.